hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you error first what is the error i'm getting if i go to camera and want to open the camera i'm getting this error we can't find our camera and the error code is this one okay 4241 okay so how to troubleshoot this issue we will go one by one and we will fix this issue so first of all close this option and go to start menu and we need to make sure that the camera access is enabled on our windows or not okay so go to after the setting once you click on setting go to privacy option here click on that on the left you need to click on camera option okay and then click on this option camera access for this device is turned off you can see if this camera is turned off you are not able to access your camera so click on change option here and click on on option now you can see it is on but allow apps to access your camera is still off so you need to also hit toggle button on and make sure the camera is on from here as well and let's check our issue is solved or not okay so still we are getting the same issue so we need to close this and so first step is not working on our windows so we need to go to the second step to troubleshoot this issue so go to search bar here type here only camera okay and you need to click on this option app setting okay once you click on that setting you need to scroll it down make sure camera is on from here as well and microsoft on and then we need to click on this option reset we are going to reset our camera all the bad settings it will change to the setting to by default click on that and it is resetting now let's wait now you can see the tick button is here it means that the camera is reset now close this option and let's check okay still getting same error if your issue is solved then when it good and if not we can continue with the third method in the third method go to start menu or you can directly go to search bar and we need to type a troubleshoot setting and then click on this option click on additional troubleshooter you need to scroll it down into bottom and click on windows store apps and run the troubleshooter ये कैम ये कहां बर्बाद कर रही है कीप को ये कीप को तुम्हारा बर्बाद कर रही है लड़के के गले पे लगा रही है क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन हियर ओके इट इज नॉट एबल टू फिक्स द प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू क्लोज दिस ऑप्शन एंड मूव टू द फोर्थ मेथड in the fourth method we will go to the device manager and reinstall the driver okay so go to search bar type at device click on device manager now on the device manager you need to make sure that the camera is visible here okay in my case camera is visible here so it should be visible if not go to view options and then click on this option show hidden devices after that once the camera is back here you need to click on this action and click on scan hardware changes okay click on this option and wait now expand the camera right click on it click on update driver first we need to search for this option search automatically and make sure the internet is connected once you select that 
click on close option once it is downloaded now once it is downloaded you need to right click on that first disable this click on yes after that enable this option again okay now we have really re enable this option now let me check if our issue is solved or not click on camera so now you can see the camera is working fine and issue has been resolved fix so my issue is fixed with the fourth method if your issue is still not fixed come to device manager again right click on the device and click on update and choose this option browse my computer then this option second one and choose the latest driver from here and then click on next option okay once you click on next option restart your system and check if your issue is solved or not if this is not working you need to right click on the driver and click on uninstall and after uninstall restart your system and restart your system and your driver will be back if your driver is not back go to browser okay go to manufacturer website and search for hp in my case i am using this laptop hit enter okay and then choose the manufacturer website hp driver or support one okay choose your operating system here and click on submit option and install the driver from here okay install the driver and your issue will be fixed so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching